there are very few people out there that you can point to and say, hey, that thing you did completely changed how operations are happening across the globe today. Out of everybody on the list, I don't think there is a better person to embody having an impact on air power. I mean, his RPA design, which turned into the MQ-1, literally has changed the way we do war. Abe Karam definitely fits the kind of people that deserve to be honored as an eagle. So we went to his uh, aircraft corporation. He's a smart guy. He's redesigning the helicopter rotor. You know, expectation wise, I thought I was gonna find like this guy who's just all about RPAs and really he's all about aviation. And the if there's a weak spot or something he thinks he can do better, he wants to do it. So UAVs was the thing at the time, RPAs we call them now. And now he's designed a variable speed rotor for the helicopter, which has never been done before. RPAs have been such a integral part of what the Air Force is today. We needed to recognize somebody and there's nobody better than Abe. Like he's literally like ground zero of what has blossomed into, you know, remotely piloted aircraft to meet the guy who kind of created my job. I mean, I wouldn't be doing, I'd be flying manned aircraft if he had not had the drive to overcome the obstacles he had. I'm talking about a guy born in Baghdad, grew up in Israel during a really interesting time in um, the world and literally produced something out of his garage because that's where he saw value. It helps me realize that there really aren't limits. If there's something you really want to do, go out and do it.